Hey guys, it's Cassie and today we are talking about the luxury items that I am not buying in 2023. As we know, I don't need much help in convincing myself to buy something. It is rather the opposite that I struggle with. So I do these videos once a year, I've done, this is third year in a row I think, and it somewhat helps me be accountable. All right, I look back on my purchases and I'm like, do you want to know what? I think you're done with this. I think we've got too many of these, blah, blah, blah. And in an effort to shop my closet a little bit more, I have done this video once again. I would also like to reiterate, while I am here as a get out of jail free card, there are always exceptions, okay? Sometimes something incredibly fabulous comes along. It snatches your heart away. You felt things that you never knew you could feel and they just have to be a part of your lives. But today I'm trying to be sensible and these are the things I'm trying not to buy in 2023. Starting off with <coughs> Hermes Aran sandals. How many does one person need? Because I have this, so this is I think goat skin silver metallic. Then we have orange suede with blue leather and lest we forget, Teddy. Teddy Shearling Mint Green. I don't need any more. I really don't. And so uh, the line is drawn here in 2023. Do I get the hype? Of course I get the hype. Okay, I think that they're really, really great summer sandal. Leather dependent, depending on what leather you get, because uh, the ones I've got are very comfortable, but my mum has had some in the past that are not so comfy, all right, because they start to dig in to the front part of the foot. But if you are going for suede or the goat skin, a soft leather, then they really are comfortable. And I think that they, you know, they're very sort of slim sandals. They look nice on the foot, all of that. You slip them on, you go, you clonk around, you live your best summer, spring, summer life. I will say these are for a different moment in time, all right? This is for a little autumn. This is for a little cosy moment. This is maybe I didn't want to leave the house, but I've had to against my will, so I may as well be cosy while I do. So that one I bought because it was more seasonal. The two-tone I bought because it was two-tone. <laughs> And I was like, that's fun and different, isn't it? Oh, why not? I don't need any more colours, right? I'm not somebody that thinks I need an Iran sandal for every, you know, shade of colour in the rainbow or every outfit that I may have in the summer. These generally will work with whatever else I would want to wear with them. I don't need a neutral. I don't need any others. There is no variation that could come out that I can think of that would make me say, oh, need that. You know, so I think, thank you very much. Love these Arans until they break off of my feet. I think I'm finished. Thank you very much, Hermes. No more Arans for me. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie and I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I have videos on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. So if you like luxury fashion, then you're gonna love it here. So head down there, subscribe, turn on the bell, become a member of our luxury addicted family. When are we going to rehab? <laughs> Never. Okay. Item number two that I shall not be purchasing any more of is luggage. As you know, if you're a seasoned subscriber, I love luggage. I love specifically Remoa or I think, I think in Germany it is actually Remover luggage, right? How many more could I need? I have got two trunk pluses, one large check-in, a carry-on, little roll-on, and then, more recently, not Remoa, but I got the MCM All Leather Weekender. I should not need another piece of luggage until the wheels fall off of the ones I have. One for every occasion that I can think of that I may need. The only other piece that I thought that I would get for myself would be a sort of keep all you know, weekender style sort of thing to have on the top of my carry-on should I need to really maximise luggage space. By the way, this also has the little slidey, magnetic as well, so it goes down. Come on, Cassie, think of the word, the thing, the handle, the little your steering wheel of the case. You know what I mean, right? It just sits nicely on top. So I got that, so I'm done. These bags should not break for at least 10 years. That's how long my last set of Remoa cases lasted for 10 years. I'm quite happy with that. Remoa is also a company that drops seasonal colours. I'm not into luggage like that. I'm not into luggage to the point that I'm like, ooh, there's a yellow. Hold on a second, might need to add another. I also physically do not have the space <laughs> 
in this apartment for another piece of luggage. I didn't realise I had a problem <laughs> until I looked in the drawer that houses said problem. Sunglasses. Apparently, I've got a penchant for the old sunnies. I didn't even bring all my sunglasses with me to New York and yet the drawer is full. I have 13 pairs of sunglasses alone with me. I should be ashamed. This is a no judgment zone. We don't judge each other here, okay? We're friends, we're open, and we feel comfortable doing so. I have sunglasses for every occasion I can think of. Let me demonstrate. Does she want to really ride the logo ho train? Check. Does she want to look like she makes her money illegally? Check. Does she want to look sort of 60s and 70s-ish and possibly like she was part of a cult back then? Check. Does she want to look like she's cutting up the slopes of Aspen? Sodding check. Does she want to look like she knows her way around a Bunsen burner? Check. I don't need any more sunglasses. I've got the statementy, I've got the weird and wonderful, I've also got the everyday, you know, we don't need to be, we've done too much on the outfit, we don't need to be doing too much on the eyes too. Every base is covered. I cannot think of a situation in which another sunglasses comes out. It's got to be very special. Let's not rule it out. But it's got to be a very, very special, very unique, very interesting pair of sunglasses for me to consider buying them in 2023. Because, come on, these have got to get used. Next item that I shall not be buying in 2023 are corsets. So I have a corset, this fabulous black iconic Vivian Westwood don't talk to me okay about the fact that she's no longer with us I'm still processing that I'm not happy about it I thought we had a few years left with her but anyway glorious when it comes to corsets this is the only corset I would have considered and it's perfect it's stretchy on the side you've got a little bit of formality with it you know like an elegance of it being a corset and all boned in the front but then also an element of casual with the mesh you can dress it up and down and i feel like already corsets although having a huge moment aren't necessarily the one sort of piece of clothing that i would think is very me but i got the one that i think was the most me out of all of them the other thing is is that i really want to get my use out of this Especially because I'm not, you know, a corset girl, like I'm not going to be wearing this seven days a week. I really want to maximise my use out of this one. That's why I also got it in black, so it was very versatile. Again, I don't have to worry too much about day and night, we can do both. If I were to get another, they, neither of them would get enough use for this to be worthwhile, you know? So I really am sticking true to this one. It's fantastic. I would highly recommend, if you're thinking about getting... A Vivian Westwood corset you it's a fantastic decision truly it can be layered so I think it would be unfair if I were to get another one she has to have her chance to shine the next brand I'm not buying in 2023 probably comes as no surprise Balenciaga um I I don't even want to rehash that whole situation I talked about it in my what's trending in luxury fashion video that I do every month and it's just it's very upsetting it's very awful like terrible terrible decisions were made and trick I've never been the biggest Balenciaga fan in general my Balenciaga items that I own are either from a sample sale or from the Gucci Balenciaga collaboration both pieces of which I bought from the Gucci side I mean look I'm coming from this from a place of I wasn't I wasn't particularly interested in Balenciaga pieces to begin with and then they've got a lot of in-house cleaning shall we say for a lot of people to even consider uh, shopping there again or well, the last category of items that I should probably press pause on I was looking through my wardrobe and I was like oh my I see a trend and I see a trend of cropped jackets I <laughs> it's my preference of cut I love a cropped boxy probably a little bit oversized jacket and my gosh have I really ploughed deep into that section of my life <laughs> I am very much in my jacket era as I have said before okay I'm very much enjoying purchasing jackets don't ask me why they're a nice just a little topper to a look all right 
at one stage I was wearing the same three jackets over and over so let me have it but I think we might need to start stepping outside into other cuts I have acquired quite the collection we've got Fendi cropped puffer jacket newest edition Mugler cropped denim jacket Pucci cropped gilet D Sweat cropped bomber jacket Ralph Lauren cropped military jacket I mean that's just some of them if I'm considering another crop jacket one needs to look in-house first and see do we have a similar situation going on here <sighs> and look into other cuts I think it's time Cassie I also considered just putting jackets in general in this because as I said I'm very much enjoying it but I can't I can't keep those promises so let's just not even let me know what you're not planning on buying in 2023. I'm going to leave a link to another video over here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are and in the words of my father. If you've enjoyed it, tell your friends. If you haven't, keep your mouth shut. I'll see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye guys.